Altitude definitely played a huge role in our trip to Arizona. We were right around 7,000 feet when we were at the Cinder Hills OHV area, and one of the first things we noticed is that our generator on our Raptor toy hauler wasn't performing correctly. So we took it to a local dealer, we had him make some adjustments, set it up for the altitude we were at, and then our ATVs and side-by-sides were definitely robbed on power. They were way down below what they should be. The way you can figure it out is you're going to lose about 3% of your power for every 1,000 feet. So if you're at sea level and you go to 10,000 feet, you're going to be 30% down on your power on your ATV or side-by-side. -side. Now a fuel injected machine is going to compensate for this a little bit better than a carbureted machine. If you have a carbureted machine, you're definitely going to have to rejet. Now if you have oversized tires or heavy cargo, you're going to notice a decrease in your power. You may even want to look at getting a new clutch kit if you're going to be riding at higher elevations all the time. Another thing you're going to want to check is your tire pressure. Your tire pressure is going to change according to the elevation and the temperature. It could be plus or minus three or four pounds. The best thing you can do is check with a local dealer in that area, find out what you need for your ATV or side by side to have it running 100%, or even set up an appointment, have them go over it, and make sure you're at peak performance while you're on the trail.